What's up you guys, Martin here, and welcome back to my channel. <music> Wendy and I had an amazing day today. Code Orange was a success, and it was so much fun. So today I'm gonna show you a little bit of like a, a Halloween howl, kind of in the season, in the spirit of all things spooky. We went to a lot of stores. Uh, felt like forever. We started early. We didn't get done until like 9 o'clock. It is late o'clock at night right now. It's almost midnight, maybe 1 o'clock already in the morning. But I wanted to show you guys some of the cool stuff I got. So we went to Michael's, okay? I already got my spooky village stuff going. I needed a couple more things that I found. So I got two items for the village. So the first thing I got was this little um, miniature um, it's like a tomb, it's like a, a tombstone statue. I only paid $5.99 for it. It'd go good in my, it's going to go really well in my, um, whatchamacallit, my graveyard, uh, you know, because it is spooky and there's a graveyard, so I got this for $5.99. Really cute, a tombstone, angel, angel of death. It's going to go perfectly. The next thing I got was another part for the town. Um, it is called the Spooky Town, uh, what is it called, Dungeon Cart. So it's basically a Grim Reaper with a horse pulling a skeleton in a, um, in a little cage thing. So that's also going to be going into my uh, Spooky Village. And that was Michael's. It was a quick trip. I needed it, got it, I was good at that store. I had to fix the lighting because it was just too dark in here. And again, it's like one o'clock in the morning, so bear with it. Next up, we went to Big Lots. And a lot of people are showing what Big Lots has and what's going out. So we decided just to hit that since it was down the road. Why not? It's not like we shop at uh, Big Lots all the time, right? I found some cute stuff. I got two things from there. One being this cute ass zero uh, blow mold bolt yeah bolt blow mold <laughs> he's cute he's great he does turn on look how cool that is so I got that guy that was a really cool find he was there was only one there of course they're probably gonna have more throughout the months it's just I found it I wanted it I got it and speaking of blow molds I had to. You know, you just have to do certain things that just doesn't make sense to a lot of people, but it makes sense to you. But it's the Big Lots exclusive Oogie Boogie Blow Mold. How cool is he? He does light up too. I don't know if the camera's in it. Oh yeah, it picks up the different colors. He has all kinds of different colors on him. Love him. He's heavy. He's great. So. Big Lots, we got some good stuff. Then we had to stop at our favorite store of the month, of the year, Home Goods. Okay, Home Goods is the place to go for horror, or not horror, but Halloween decor, right? Bomb ass stuff. This day, there wasn't that much that we've seen, because we've been going every Monday, to be fair. Even a couple times last week. So, a few things they had. That was different, but today I only got two things, which are really awesome. So the first thing, it's huge. Um, I'll show you guys when it's on the wall, but I got this huge wall stand. Whoa. So basically it says, Spooky. It's a big ass um, wall thingy, and it does uh, light up. So little bulbs. Spells out spooky. It's a big wall decor. Okay, so you can like... <laughs> you see, you can hang it on the wall. Also, the, the second thing I got, which was the last, I had to get this. Something's in my eye. Give me a second. I had to get this. It was so unique. It's so different. It's so fun. It is a salt and pepper shaker. 
I have a really cool salt and pepper shaker. Bleh, 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 bleh. Salt and pepper shaker that I've been using that my coworker, one of my friends, got me from Vegas. It's like two ghosts hugging. Um, so thank you for that. Uh, but look how cool this is. Are you guys ready? I don't think you guys are ready for this. Imagine cooking, putting, making stew, um, making some chicken or whatever. But guess what they got? Are you freaking kidding me? Potion bottle. I love it. They're the cutest little things. And yes, they come off. They're just like stuck with this glue stuff. I have to take that glue off of it, but... But yeah, you're like, oh, um, give me some of this. <laughs> I just poisoned your ass. So I had to get that, you guys. It's so unique. I've never seen a salt and pepper shaker like that. And the, and the fact that it has this like little holder for him. Frick yeah. Then we scurried to the mall. Okay, we went to the mall. Um, went to Hot Topic, and I'm sorry, you guys. Hot Topic. What happened? Hear me out. Why am I seeing the new movie Barbie came out? Hot Topic has hella shit from the movie Barbie. Like, why would that be the one thing that Hot Topic should not have? We don't need no preppy ass people coming in like, oh my god, I need that Barbie. Oh my god, I need that can. Nah. And then what is up with it being like an anime store now? I'm not hating on anime whatsoever. But I remember Hot Topic being like rock, alternative, band tees, tight jeans, studded belts, which they still have. But majority of everything in Hot Topic is anime. Pops, figures, anime shirts, skirts, bing, 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 bing. Come on, man. Give, give the anime their own stores, okay? I just don't agree with anime being in Hot Topic, and I definitely don't agree with the movie Barbie being in Hot Topic. What the fuck? So then after we went to Hot Topic, it was a, nah, I'm in and out, okay? This boy is not going in there. Then we went to Spencer's, and I found some bomb ass shit, even though I only got two things. You already know when you're going through Spencer's, you go right there to the right side of the store, there's all the shot glasses, glasses, lava lamps, naughty toys you walk around there's shirts blankets blah 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 well i was just looking same shit look up and tell me why i seen the new spirit halloween horror babies of course i wanted to get all the ones i seen i seen ghostface sam and leatherface i decided to get leatherface isn't he the cutest little shit I, and the reason why I went with Leatherface is I have, I really don't, I have nothing Leatherface. The only thing I have a Leatherface related is the Pretty Woman mask, and that is it. I don't have no figures. I don't have anything. So I had to get this, and it's cute. He's, he has a little um, hit bloody hammer. He has a little blood on his apron, his little shoes, um, his little face. Just the cutest little guy. The girl's like, I have a whole box of stuff in the back. Do um, you want me to pull something out so you can see? And I'm like, heck yeah, let's do it. Because she had to go. These guys were all the way up on the top of Spencer's. Like, where the top where they have the Chuckies and stuff like that. So she brought some stuff out. And, of course, me and Wendy seen this. Oh, by the way, me and Wendy got the same thing. She got the leather face as well. But we seen this bobblehead. And it's going to go perfect with my killer clown stuff up here. But it's the new... baby killer clown bobblehead isn't that cool it's like when he's in the toilet in the movie can you see that yet so i got that and yeah it was fun it was a fun time then then down the road in the mall we went to box lunch now let me tell you about box lunch my friend works there she showed me these i think this morning or last night that they just got in um, I had to. I, there was no doubt about it in my mind that I was gonna, not going to just pass these up. And they had them right behind their uh, register. So if you guys go to Box Lunch and you want to find these, most likely they're behind them at the register. They're not on the shelves. So I got the Bitty Pops. Um, if you guys know what that is, it's like a, a pop figure, but they're extremely small. And they, ha they have their own little boxes. It's cool. And I got three of 
the there's four series but I got three of the four because I didn't really care for the Santa Claus one I'm not big on that but I got the nightmare before Christmas itty bitty pops look at how cute they are so I got this one this has Jack Sally and what else um, and zero and you get a mystery one so there's a mystery uh, pop in there so I got that one I got to the Oogie Boogie Lock and Shock um, Itty Bitty Pop and there is a mystery figure in there so I don't know which one that one is look how cute those are hopefully you guys can see that look how tiny alright we got that man this freaking lighting and then the last one I got is the Jack Pumpkin the Mare and barrel with the mystery. There they are, and they're really tiny. Like, there's my finger. Really cool. So I got all three of them. Okay, the one that I did not get, where I'm gonna show you, the very top row. Let's see if you can even see it. Right there, it's just the Santa Jack, Santa Claus. Ah, eh. Okay, ah. so I got there. You guys, let me tell you. Let me, st hold, hold up. I had to restart this, okay. We went to Bath and Body Works. If you guys didn't know, today is the day they put out the entire Halloween collection in store. I did amazing. I got everything I wanted plus more. Wendy did scary, ooh. She spent a lot there. I'm not gonna give you guys a total, but Wendy spent a lot at Bath and Body. But I'm going to show you guys what I got. I'm so excited for these. Um, one, I didn't even know. One, There's one item that I didn't know they made, so this is really cool. But let's show. Cobra Strike. Let's start with the wallflowers. Um, basic, you guys. If you guys know what a wallflower is, you put it in a little warmer. You plug it in. Uh, this one, of course, is a go-to every freaking year. It is the vampire blood. All right. It's vampire blood. It's vampire blood time. That's what it is. It's always going to be vampire blood. This is actually um, in my room right now. So whoever goes in my bedroom, <laughs> it's going to smell like that. So I think I got a couple of the vampire bloods, to be honest. Um, let me tell you, my favorite scent for the Halloween, um, for this year, there is one called, like, Foggy, what is it called? Oh, 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 Midnight Cemetery or something like that. It's, it doesn't smell good. I don't like it, but this one, let me tell you, I bought like hell of these, but they're the Wicked Vanilla Woods. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Of course not. I hate this camera. We need a new camera, guys. But it's called the Wicked Vanilla Woods. Bomb. You have to get this. Trust me, you will be thanking me. So I got those. Yeah, see, I got one, two, I got three of these. I got three vanilla, wicked vanilla, because they're five for $27 for the um, wallflowers, five for $28 for the hand sanitizers, and five for $28 for the hand soaps. So I got five of the wallflowers. So I went ba pretty basic. I didn't do the normal ghoul friend and stuff like that, but I got two vampire bloods and I got three uh, wicked vanilla woods. Then we move on to the hand sanitizers, okay? So, I got, and again, you guys, I'm sorry about the lighting. You have to just bear with me, okay? But I got the ghoul friend in the hand sanitizer. I got that one for sure. Um, again, they were 5 for 28. Um, vampire blood, of course. And the hand sani. Another vampire blood in the hand sani. Another vampire blood in the hand sani. I have a problem you guys if you didn't know what one what one of my favorite um, smells were There you go And why not one more vampire blood in the hand sani so two four yeah, so I got five so one ghoul friend and four vampire bloods Okay, 
I did get two hand sanitizer holders this year. Um, of course, I had to get this one. This one is so cute. It also glows in the dark, but it is the witch hand. It's holding the globe. Okay. And what does it do, Martin? It glows purple in the freaking dark. It lights up purple. Not only does it light up purple, the uh, witch hands themselves glow in the freaking dark. You got me at glowing in the dark, but yeah, they glow in the dark. Um, I also got the other hand sanitizer holder. This one's really cool. It's a skeleton hand holding a, a dripping candle. Um, not only does it light up, but it makes sounds. So let's listen to that. Really like that. So I got that. Love that. Okay, so I got the bloody skeleton, or not blood, um, the melted candle wax on the skeleton hand, and I got the witch holding the globe. Then we move on to the foaming hand wash. And yes, I say foaming because that's my favorite. I don't like the gel. Okay. But I got, of course, ghoul friend. All right, I got the ghoul friend. Who wants to be my ghoul friend? Any takers? I'm single. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm so excited they had this, but it's, again, one of my favorite scents this year. Far none, like it is one, it's the highest one right now. My Bath and Body Works favorite fragrance of all time, my, not being Halloween, is the Cherry Merlot, Black Cherry Merlot. Then it goes, now it goes Vanilla, Wicked Vanilla Woods, and then Vampire Blood, okay? But of course I got the Wicked Vanilla Woods in the hand, uh, so. I also got the Perfect Pumpkin in the foaming soap, which you can never go wrong with, okay? I also got Spellbinding Sweets. I've never smelled this one, so I don't know if this is um, new to the family. And of course, you had to have your vampire blood. All right, you just had to. Like, this is a must. When you go to my bathroom, you're going to see this. It's going to be great, and it's going to be fantastic. And you're going to wash your hands. Don't be a dirty bitch. Next up, I did get a wall, uh, a wall flower. I already have so many. I have one in the kitchen, one in the dining room. I have one in the bathroom, and I have one in my room, and I need one for the living room. So I had to buy this one. I didn't have to. I wanted to. But most of them have, like, bats, pumpkins... Um, the new carriage one has a horse, bats, trees. This is my first one. <coughs> Sorry. Um, it looks like a goblet. And when you plug it in, it's purple on the bottom. There's like a little bat. And then you see green ghosts. It projects the green ghosts on the wall. And I think that's so freaking fantastic. Okay. That's freaking fantastic. So I got that. Really happy. My house be smelling good, guys. And I had to get a candle. Um, I went with Ghoul Friend, okay? It's a three-wick candle. Uh, Ghoul Friend, you really can't go wrong with this. It smells good. Yeah, that smells... Sorry. These lids are so cool. I don't know if you can see if they're like skeletons. And you're asking me, Martin, why did you get a candle? Um... Why'd you pay $26.95 for a candle? There's a reason behind this, people. And let me show you. This is what I did not know that they came out with. And I'm freaking excited that I have it. Um, I've been hooked on witches lately. Like, it's kind of a... I'm obsessed with witches right now. But... I got the three-wick candle holder witch hand. Are you kidding me? So you basically light your candle 
and it's like this. The cool thing about this Pull the little plug. And don't you love that ring on her? Here we go. Look. It's like, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it's like a fan and it's making the liquid like. You guys, I had to. The gemstones on the bottom. It's so pretty. Can you guys see that? I really hope. It's hard to tell, but do you guys see the um, smoke? I'll try to take a better... Um, oh, there you go. That was dark, but... Yeah, you see the smoke. Isn't that the coolest thing? I'm so happy I got this. So, um, that's the haul. I have everything out here and it's crazy, it's fun, I loved it, it was a great day. You guys, go to Bath and Body, okay, you guys, go to Spencer's, you guys, go to Michael's, you guys, go to, where else did I go, Home Goods, go, alright. Alrighty guys, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, favorite, share with your friends and family for more content, and until next time you guys, don't be a lemon, be Rosebud, peace.